Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Grip and Rip Sports Cards back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be discussing why Top should, quite frankly, be absolutely embarrassed with themselves. You know, I, I have come to the conclusion. And we're going to talk about it in depth in this video that Tops, the way that we grew up collecting, is miles and miles far off from what we used to know. So before we get to that, thank you so much for joining me on this video today. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? That's the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away Hobby Packs of Series 2. All you got to do to enter is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel, and last but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section on who your all-star representatives are on your favorite team, and I'll pick the winner once we hit 7,000 subscribers. So there is that. So, and of course, Christmas merch is available, forgot to mention, down in the description below, labeled Official merch, my Christmas merchandise is here. We have a Santa Claus. We have a couple baseball designs. Um, I love the Santa Claus. If you go watch my top 10 most valuable for um, archives, I wear the shirt in the video so you can see what it looks like for yourself in person. Um, shipping was fast. I only got it in like three days time. So again, pretty, pretty quick on the shipping. So that's always good and dandy. It's a good quality material. It's not going to shrink. When, when you dry it, I know I have that problem with a lot of my shirts, as probably most of you guys do as well. And I can confidently say, because I already washed it and dried it once, and it did not shrink at all. So that's a positive. It's a good material shirt. Hopefully you enjoy them. And yeah, so let's get into the topic at hand. So, huh, you know, you know, I was kind of on the fence of making this video today. Because quite frankly, there is literally nothing to talk about. <laughs> There's literally nothing to talk about. And that is sad. That, that is sad because, you know, we have so many good sets that have still even not been announced yet, which we're going to be talking about Bowman Draft in this video. And I am going to start opening my Bowman Draft box. I have a draft box from last year. Um, It's a, it's a light box. Um, I just kept it sealed. I don't know why. Probably because there were so many sets that came out in December. I never got to it. But we're going to open this. We're going to see uh, what we get. There should be some good rookies in there. Or I should say Bowman first, really. But um, either way, um, it's sad, man. It's sad. And I want to make this video kind of shorter because Modern Warfare 3 comes out tonight. And I want to play it. And I don't want to edit all night. So that's pretty cool. And find a dandy too. And quite frankly, I am tired. Uh, I watched the Marvels today. Marvels is pretty good. I'm your typical Marvel movie, so it was pretty good. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. If you watch it, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. The end credit scene, man oh man. I ain't going to spoil nothing, of course, but wow. Wow, to say the least, when it comes to the end credit scene of the Marvels. Um, either way, awesome, awesome. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Good, not great. Short and sweet to the point. There's that. If you want to hear my review, there it was. But either way, um, yeah, so I was thinking to myself today. I was sitting here thinking to myself, I was sitting on my chair playing uh, Fortnite, and I was like, well, what happened to the old tops that we all grew up loving and collecting? And it finally hit me. It hit me, and I kind of alluded to this in yesterday's video, but we'll kind of go in depth on it today since that's what the title of the video is about. Quite frankly, what I said in yesterday's video, and I'll say it again now, is they do not care about the people who put them in the position that they're in, Right. Tops is 72 years old, right? By far, at least as I know, the oldest trading card brand on the planet, right? And that's no slouch. You know, that is a great accomplishment. You know, they have been very successful for 72 years. I mean, who else in the card industry can say that? Nobody, you know? So that's a great accomplishment in and of itself. But I alluded to this yesterday, and I'll say it again. They do not care about the people who put them in the position that they're in. Because... If they did, they would give us honesty and transparency, which they have not given us. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest with ourselves here for a minute. Have they been honest and transparent with the collecting fan base on these problems that continue to happen 
for God knows what reason at that company? The answer to that question is no. For, for a fact, I will tell you this right now. Do you not think that they knew that the missing short prints were not in Chrome last year and they still shipped that product knowing because they didn't want it to delay it? And by doing that, that would have costed them millions of dollars. Do you not think that they didn't know that those weren't in there? To answer your question, they knew they didn't care. They thought people wouldn't figure it out. I don't know why they thought that because people, quite frankly, bought that release for those short prints in and of themselves. And you're telling me that they didn't think we'd figure that out? The answer to that question is, yeah, we figured that out and so on and so forth. But of course, you know, we made a, we made a video yesterday talking about the Definitive Collection. It's funny because Definitive Collection was supposed to come out on Wednesday. And of course, today is Friday. They said it was indefinitely delayed. Yeah, that in quote unquote indefinite delay lasted 48 hours. It's coming out today. Don't know why they said indefinitely delayed. Again, that just, it, it's so stupid. It really is just so dumb. I mean, if you're going to say a delay and give a proper time, sure, fine and dandy. But, you know, when you're going to go out there and say, oh, this is delayed, that's delayed, this is delayed, that delayed, just be honest with us, man. Like, honestly, like, you know, it's just sad. You know, like, I said it earlier in the video and I'll say it again. The tops that we grew up collecting. Like, I started collecting, I believe, I would like to say around 2005 to 2007. My memory's kind of washed on that. I'm not entirely sure because, of course, I was only like four or five years old at that point. But I'll let you know a little fun fact of how I got into collecting. I'll never forget it because I, I remember it like it was yesterday. It's a memory, a very core memory that sticks out to me uh, as a kid. And, you know, it's the reason why I am here today in this position, right? So there was a county fair. I was a little kid. I don't know exactly what year it was. It may have been 2008 because I remember the 2008 design, I believe. So it may have been 2008 I started collecting. I'm not entirely sure. But I believe that could be around that or 2009, somewhere in that area. I'm not entirely sure. But I remember there was a county fair. And people in these barns at this county fair, they're like vendors and kiosks and they like to sell you stuff. And we're just walking down up aisle. It's like a basically a, a uh, flea market, essentially, kind of how it was, if I remember correctly. And there was a guy selling who knows what. I don't even remember. But he comes up to me. And has a complete set of baseball cards and says, who's your favorite team? And at the time, I remember this, my grandpa got me into the New York Yankees. See, I have pirate stuff here on the table and I am a diehard Pirates fan. But the first actual exposure to Major League Baseball I was exposed to was the New York Yankees and that dominant team of the early 2000s, right? And I'll never forget it because we searched through the Yankees. I got a Derek Jeter, a Jorge Posada. I will never, ever, ever forget it because that is how I got into baseball card collecting. And that is why I am here to this day. So I will never forget that. It's a core memory that's stuck in my head since then. And it always will because that's how I got into baseball card collecting from that random guy in a kiosk handing out baseball cards to little kids uh, for what reason, I don't know. But that's how I got into baseball card collecting, right? And over the years, I'm just thinking to myself, man, how fun was it back in the day to go and buy a pack of cards at like Kmart, if you guys know what Kmart is, or Toys R Us, or I guess Target and Walmart still to this day. That was fun, man. That was fun. And thinking about it today, there are all these different controversies top surrounds themselves in. And like, it's not the same. It's nowhere even close to being the same. And that is the problem. That is the absolute huge problem. The last great memory of baseball cards, for me at least. I mean, sure we could say 2022 Tops update was great. But... In a year surrounded with controversy as Tops was last year, does 2022 equate to a great year in the card collecting world? Somewhat because of the great rookie class that was associated with the 2022 year. 
but at the same time, missing short prints, fake autographs, terrible quality control, ruined all of that, right? The last good memory I have with Tops is 2018 update. 2018 update, I think for me, is probably the pinnacle of my baseball card fandom, I would like to say, because I remember like this was yesterday as well. Oh, it was five years ago now, believe it or not, at this point. I remember going to Walmart after school one time um, and just literally buying like $300 worth of fat packs and hanger boxes of update. I will never forget it. And it's sad because I opened all of them. Um, but either way, I did pull an Acuna Gold Rookie. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's in my stack here somewhere to the left of me. I have to look for it. But I'll never forget it. That was my last fond memory with with baseball cards. Maybe I'll go as far as saying 2020. Um, 2020 is a very vivid year. Um, I remember me and my brother with our grandparents buying like a bunch of Series 1 2020 fat packs at Target for some reason. That was like literally like a week or two before the whole world shut down too. So it's very wild. I'll never forget that memory. That's a very core memory. I have a picture of that in my camera roll on my phone. We took a picture of it because we thought we were so stupid for doing it, but we did it anyways. Um, but either way, you get my point, man. You get my point. They should really be embarrassed with themselves. That's the whole point of this video. Top should really, really, really be embarrassed with themselves because the decline that they have suffered is literally historic in a bad way. Historic in a way that makes you wonder what they're really doing over there. And I said it yesterday and I'll say it again. Their integrity is down the toilet. Their integrity is six feet under in a grave with the coffin nailed shut Dirt covered over the coffin. They do not care about anything. I said it again yesterday and I'll say it again now. All they care about is lining their pockets with the green Benjamins. That is it. Do you think they care about the quality control that they have put out? No. Do you think they care about all the delays and all the mishaps they have done to these sets? No. Do you think they care about us being upset from canceling sets like Gypsy Queen? I Again, I will say this as I said back in February or March or April. Whenever they had that party where they announced cancellations of sets. I will not understand for the life of me why they canceled Gypsy Queen. Gypsy Queen at hobby stores sold tremendously. I do not and will not ever understand why they canceled a Gypsy Queen, but keep a set like Allen and Ginter. Allen and Ginter, I'll tell you this right now. Every store I go to, my hobby store, my local Walmarts, and my Targets, I go to about 10 to 12 different Walmarts or Targets, literally. And they are all filled to the gills of Allen and Ginter. Nobody's buying it. Even at the hobby store, I was just that. Nobody is buying Allen and Ginter. So tops, if you watch my videos, take this advice like you took my other advice with Chrome Update, which we'll talk about here in a minute to wrap the video up. Bring back Gypsy Queen. Take out Allen and Ginter. Problem solved. I guarantee you, 9 out of 10 fans would actually appreciate that. Another thing on this topic I guess we could talk about on appreciation is hobby formats for Chrome Update. So, of course, as you guys are well aware, Chrome Update comes out next Wednesday. At least for now, I always have to say that because heh, knowing my luck, they'll say, well, yeah, guess what? We delayed that for another three weeks. Uh, try back again in three weeks. So that's why I typically say for now, whenever I say a new set's coming out because you know, as you guys know, with Stadium Club, they literally delayed that set indefinitely, like three days before the set came out, which is ridiculous if you ask me. Um, they delayed the definitive collection, although it was like a 48-hour delay, but still delayed it nonetheless. For what reason, I don't know. Um, they delayed Allen and Ginter for like seven weeks. They delayed, uh, what else did they delay? I don't even remember. They delayed uh, Heritage, Plain Jane Heritage, to uh, May this year when it came. It should have come out in March, so if you guys remember that. They delayed a bunch of sets this year, so I really don't know. But either way, a positive takeaway we can take away from this video is the fact that they're actually doing something good with, pro, uh, not Pro Debut, but um, 
with Chrome Update. So, of course, Chrome Update, in case you guys are, are well aware, um, are actually doing legit hobby formats for the first time in its history. They have never done actual legit hobby and jumbo hobby formats for this set. A lot of people think of it as a bad idea. I don't know why. I look at it as a good idea. I look at it as a good idea. Um, now, could they print a lot more than they have in years past? Absolutely. And in fact, I do expect that. I actually do expect that. I don't know the official print runs. I don't know if we ever figured out the print runs from last year's product. But I can guarantee you the print runs from this year's product are probably maybe 20% higher than last year maybe. But either way... I think it's a good idea because a lot of people were very upset last year with the crap that they pulled. So if you guys are unaware, they put out a quote-unquote hobby box, which I put in air quotes, because what they did was they took two monster boxes that are Target exclusive and they combined them into one and called it a hobby box, which again, really wasn't a hobby box because there was no guarantees or nothing. And that really pissed a lot of people off, including myself. I was really going to buy a hobby box of Chrome Update until we found out and it's funny because it was a couple days before the release, you know, hey, this isn't actually a real hobby product. It's just retail turned into a hobby box. So I'm actually happy they're doing that. Uh, my box should be coming next Wednesday. I have one pre-ordered. I might go grab another one. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do I, I do think the product is going to be nice, like at least decent. I don't know. The checklist is kind of mid, um, but I do think the hobby and the jumbo formats are going to be good for like all the hits. I do think if you want any hits, which we'll talk about this next week in depth when we go over um, the actual formats and things like that themselves, um, I think if you want autographs or parallels, you're going to have to buy the hobby format. I think the retail format is going to be for base and base only, and that's pretty much what it's going to be used for. Um, so I don't know. I do think it's going to be good. Uh, but either way, I'm going to get into a pack here. Let me get this box open. So we're going to open Bowman Draft. I have this box here, a Bowman Draft. Um, it's a light box. I don't even know how many packs we get. Um, okay, so 10 packs, 16 cards a pack. All I'm doing this for, I'm opening this up now um, because A, I did not buy archives. And B, I unfortunately ran out of pro debut, which I might go back and buy another box. My hobby store has a bunch of it still. Um, I don't know why. It's a great product, so I don't know why it's still there. Um, but I'm going to probably go buy another box because this stuff's great, man. I love, love, love Pro Debut, and you should as well if you want um, some good stuff. So here we got a pack here. So it's 16 cards a pack. Um, it's a light uh, version. Um, speaking of draft, again, I will say this for people who maybe don't watch my content on a regular basis. Um, we have no information on draft yet this year. Um, we have legit no information on draft, and I'll show you the odds on the back of the pack in case you guys want to see it because I know tops don't do this no more tops for whatever reason took odds out off the back of the packs. I don't know why it's a tradition that they have kept for so long, but for whatever reason got rid of and now they're on the website and I do not like it because at the blink of an eye, they can change anything regarding anything with their sets. So let's see here. Um, so pretty interesting uh, way to pack the cards. So, let me see here. I have legitly no idea what's going on. What, what is actually going on here? So, all right, let me see here. So those are the chromes. And I guess the paper is, I guess, flipped upside down. Okay, whatever. Let's just get to it. So let's see here. I'm going to have to, like, really, like, uh, remember these names. I know the big ones, um, but for, like, Nate Furman, I legitly don't know who that is. Errol Vera, um... Thomas Harrington, I know that is Pirate Guy. I'm going to probably put that to the side for Pirates Fest. He might be a Pirates Fest, so I'm going to put that to the side, actually. Uh, Jared McKenzie. We got Walter Ford. I don't know who he is. We got Parker Messick. I do not know who he is. Now here are Chromes. Uh, Brayson Mouts. Ah, pff, beats me who that guy is. Uh, we got a Jonathan Cannon. No idea. So, all you guys looking at these cards, let me know what you think. I have legit no clue. We have an insert of Brian Acuna. Um, I've heard of that name, so that name sounds familiar. And the last card, or the last chrome, looks like a... Yeah, so it is a Robert Moore first. It is a uh, refractor. Uh, let me see if it's numbered here. 
Uh, it is not numbered, but <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me get this. Can you see that print line? Look at that. Do you see that where my finger is? Do you see that? There's a big line that goes from here all the way to right here on the card. Unreal. Look at that. Do you see that? Look at the corner right here. Or the Look right there. You see that? Look at that. It's a big, it's a big indentation. Unbelievable. Actually, unbelievable. Look at that. That is, that is, that is ridiculous. Wow, that is bad. Wow, that is bad. Oh my gosh. Front of the card's fine. But the back is not. Wow, that is bad. Holy smokes. All right, let's get to the rest of these papers. All right, let's just get through them. Shailen Polanco, Pirate. Put that to the side. We got Max Muncy, Mason Wynn, and we got Reggie Crawford. Wow, that print line is bad. That might be the worst print line I've ever seen. Now, granted, it's not on the front of the card, thankfully, but the, just the fact that that is there just baffles me. Wow, that, that's bad. That is bad. Getting back to what I was saying earlier, and I'll, I'll highlight this to wrap the video up. They, quite frankly, don't care. They, they don't. I mean, stuff like that, that should never make, that should never, ever, ever make the final cut of the product, ever. So either way, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.